So if you've been wanting to add personalization into your shop, but you're struggling with where to begin, then in this video, I'm going to walk you to my step of how I add personalized items into Etsy, as well as once you get an order, what to do. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bridget. I'm an Etsy pre on demand seller on a mission to help other Etsy sellers start and scale their business in a stupid easy way. So if you like this type of content, please subscribe, like, hit the bell, so you can be notified of the next time I release a new one. Okay, so as far as adding personalization, this is how I do it. So let's say this Puro Mama is the item that I want to personalize. I want people to be able to change the year that they became a Puro Mom. So what I would do is I will download this as a PNG transparent background. And then I will download it. And then what I will do next is I will add it into a mock-up. Then I will bring the design over into Canva and I will add it into like mock-up. So I want to offer in a block. Also make sure that you are always making this smaller because you want to make this as accurate as possible for the customer for what they're going to get. And you also de decrease the transparency because it's never going to look this bright. I like to make it about like 80%. Um, so you can... Let's say I'm just gonna offer this black one. I like to keep the options max of five because people get paralysis when they see too many options. So don't get carried away. Offer one, two, three, I would say max five colors. I typically don't go past three. But for example, for this one, I'm just gonna do it in this black. So I would just download this, you know, Puro Mama. I like to do it as a JPEG because it just takes up less space when you're going to be uploading it on Etsy. So then after this, we're going to go into Etsy and I'm going to show you why I do this on Etsy first and not on Printify. Now we're on Etsy. The reason why I do this on Etsy first and not on Printify is because going to Printify first and going through the whole like publishing it there and then waiting for it to publish through Etsy is a lot more work. And then what you have to do is you have to take all the SKUs out because this is a personalized item. So you don't want to accidentally um, have this item made because not everybody's going to order it with the 2023 right and for me it's like i find it easier to start on etsy because then also if for some reason the item doesn't sell i didn't went through the whole you know time of posting it on printify first and then also unless you're going to keep your um fulfillment um manual then you might forget that you know what i mean that this item you have to personalize it and if you have SKUs on it you didn't take the SKUs out then this item is going to be sent to your customer like that and it's not correct so i do all my personalized items on printify first so what you do is you add the photo you add you add all your you know sizing charts everything that you need uh, obviously you're going to adjust it um you would have already have done all your SEO. So the most important part that I want to show you is how to set this up here at the bottom. So what you want to do is you want to. So this is the thing. The hardest or the most time consuming part is doing this the first time, because what you can do after is you can just copy this listings and it makes the process so much easier. So you're going to add variation. Um, oh, hold on. This is, oh sweatshirt sorry this is a sweatshirt i need to add this first okay so you're gonna go into add sorry add variation and we are going to do create a new variation and then i like to put um the way uh sorry the way i like to do it is i like to do it for like the item like if it's a shirt sweatshirt and then color so this one is a sweatshirt and then, and then again, prices may vary. I like to click this just because the pricing could be different. And then eventually, if for some reason you wouldn't ask you to do this, because again, this could be differently, or if you want to do different quantities, right? And then the other, I'm going to create another variation for the color. So now we're going to save and continue. So what we're going to do now is here we're going to name this sorry so we're going to do sweatshirt small so whatever you offer it for right sweatshirt medium 
and you just do this where sure large and extra large and 2XL I stop at 2XL but if you do more then you do that and then here the color what color are you offering this black gray you add all that over here so this one is using black and then I also click this and then we save and continue so this is the most time-consuming thing because this is what's helping the customer you know when you go and you're trying to ask them to the order the customer is going to choose the size of the sweatshirt and then they're going to go to the next drop down menu and switch and sorry and pick the color so then you will just put the price in here so then this is the most important thing if you were to if you were to have done this from printify and you were to have to in um starting on printify first you would have to come here and delete all the SKUs because if not it's going to automatically fulfill it I like to avoid all that headache, especially because not everything you create will sell. So I think doing it on Etsy first is so much easier to do. So then here you want to toggle this over and you want to put the instructions here. So I usually like to put like, please enter personalization here and the or or for this one is established that you can do. Please enter the established date here and I always like to give the man example example EST 2023 um, if you don't want this to be like they have to do this you can always keep it optional also sometimes some people will reach out to you and be like well, I don't want no personalization you can always also put it here if you prefer no personalization please add none you know what I mean? So then that way, when people read this, they know that they can either A, get it with the established date, or they can just add none if they just want it, you know, just put the poodle mama on it. And then, again, everything else, you fill it out like you would a regular listing. You add your title, your SEO, who made it, another company, a person, because Printify help you. What is it? A finished product. When it was it made? Made to order. It's a sweatshirt. I like to put it here. The primary color is black. It is a long sleeve pullover um, I like to put as a, a phrase or a saying it's not for a specific holiday here again your description everything about this item like when you know when your processing your returns your what type of printing do you use any information that the customer needs will go here this is a physical product and then here you will click printify um, and then once you're ready you will just publish this item and then I'm going to show you next what you what you do once you get an order okay so for a um, customized order you're gonna go under the orders tab because that order since there's no SKU number is gonna show up under this other orders tab and it will show up here it will tell you like the order number it'll tell you the customer um, so what you will do is you um, will click on it like you will select it in order to import it but what I like to do is I like to create templates to help me make this process started again you will go on to like my product or I mean you'll select the items that you're offering so I'm offering a sweatshirt and I'm gonna be using um, Swift pod I will just start the design I will add the design like find it and add it um let's see then i will also add the colors that i'm offering it in this design i decided that i'm just going to offer it in black but if i was doing like navy or any other color i would do add those two so then this is my template and then i will save this and then i will name it something that i can remember it will be easy to search so i could put like poodle mama template so then I will save this as a draft. So then every time that I get an order for this poodle mama th that I have to change the established date, let's say somebody order poodle mama established um, 2021. So I will just duplicate this listing. I will use the copy one and then I will edit the design. And here I will add, you know, I will obviously go into Canva first and fix it, like change the established date. And then I will add it here and put poodle mama established 2021. I would then save that and then I will rename that one now as whatever the customer ordered. That one will be Poodle Mama Established 2021. I will save that as a draft and then I will come back into my others order tab and then I will select the product, like select the, pick on the customer and select it. 
and then you will link it with the uh, with this new template that you created and then after that the order will show up under your printify orders and then based on like you know if you do your orders manually or every 24 hours or a certain time then that's when they will go into production so you made it to the end of this video and if you're still struggling with creating a whole listing from like the beginning stages of doing the research, finding the SEO, designing it, as well as adding it to Printify and finishing it up on Etsy, then I'm going to link this video next because on that video, I'll walk you through the whole process. See you in the next one.